Hey guys, got another video coming out for you guys, so I hope you guys are having a good day. In the background, you're going to see me animating a piece that I'm going to be doing for a competition for the Howard Hemsworth uh, monthly challenge. Now this month's challenge is special effects. I'm doing water and fire, so <laughs> you guys can enjoy me animating that in the background. Um, I want to talk about the new Puss in Boots movie, The Last Wish. That movie, phenomenal blew me out of the fucking park like i love that shit like it's nowhere near all the shit that's coming out nowadays look i get it some people liked i mean a lot of people liked the avatar way of the water for me, it wasn't for me though yeah it's got some cool effects i like the effects they're, they're pretty dope they look nice the story was lackluster it wasn't it was what it was bad the, so the soundtrack was all right, but it didn't hit me as hard as like Puss in Boots did. Like Puss in Boots, like I remember Puss in Boots. I can remember when Who's Your Favorite Superhero? I remember that shit. I don't remember anything or any of the soundtracks for uh, Way of the Water. It wasn't for me. But the characters fucking rock in that movie, bro. They rock in Puss in Boots. Throughout the story. Puss is trying to get to the wishing star because he's out of lives. He needs those lives to be the legend. He's got a bunch of obstacles. Like, he's terrified of dying. Full on having panic attacks and shit. I don't know how a panic attack feels. I've never been stressed. Like, I don't have super crazy anxiety like that. I've been stressed out before. I've been super stressed. Shit, I'm still stressed to this day. As far as, like, having full-blown panic attacks and, like, hyperventilating and shit like that. Never happened to me. I can imagine that it doesn't feel very comfortable and it's probably not the best situation to be in to lose control of your body and just like go into fucking fight or flight mode type deal. So it's probably not the best, but like he has some of those throughout the whole entire movie and it's it's crazy, dude. It makes you feel wild. There's this dog called Tarito. Uh, he, he's pretty he's pretty goofy. I ain't gonna lie, he's pretty goofy. Uh, at first I thought I wasn't gonna like him, not gonna lie, he was... Yeah, nah, he, I thought he was comic relief character, but like, nah, he's the glue that holds those that the, the group together. Like, he is a protect, like, he's the heart of that whole entire thing. There's a one scene where he Puss is having a panic attack. He is freaking the fuck out. He is scared out of his mind. And Perito comes over and he's looking at him. At first, I was gonna be like, rub my belly, rub my belly type bullshit, but no, he doesn't do that. He doesn't do that at all. He assesses the situation, sees that Puss is freaking the fuck out. He is all over the place, wild, and, and like just like can't even fucking focus on him, and lays his head on his belly because that was his dream. He wanted to be a therapy dog, and he got the chance to be Puss's therapy dog. It calmed him down. It really helped him out, and it just like shows you how grounded the characters are like it could have easily gone like to another like bullshit mode but no they let it play out they let it be real they let it breathe it was it was it was good man it was really good those characters go wild the three bears and goldie dude i can relate to that so much i never knew my dad i never knew him when she wanted to find out she wanted the wish to find out who her real parents were have a real family i felt that i felt that real fucking Real, like in my soul type deal she, throughout the movie she realizes that's not what she wants she wants to spend time with the people that actually took care of her i get the same feeling with that when i'm with my family right now because they're not my original they're not my biological family fuck it they're my family I, I i fucking love those guys and they're they're my family when she finally at the end of it realizes that she doesn't want the wish she already has what she wants and she realizes that it's so fucking wholesome like she has a choice between getting her wish and saving her brother from imminent death. There's a force field that will kill people through the wishing star and shit. His, her brother, a bear, her full brother bear, is about to die. She, instead of going for the wish, she wins to go and save him. I, I feel that so much because it shows how much she loves him and like they were willing to wish, risk life and limb to make her happy. And then she just realized that she just wants to be happy with them. It's it's so fucking good, dude. It's so it's so good. And Kitty Softpaws, Kitty Softpaws has some of the saddest shit going on with her. So in the first movie, she got declawed by her cat owners, 
they had left her and shit, dude. And it was it was hard for her. Like she was felt betrayed. She felt like she couldn't trust anybody. Then she met Puss in the first movie, and she thought she could trust him. And eventually, they thought they were gonna get married. But that didn't happen. They didn't get they didn't get their happy ending to after the end of the movie. And it was sad. It was hard to look at, man. You think of that and like, damn, bro, she's been fucked with so many people in her life. She just wants someone she can trust. And she really wanted it to be puss. Time and time again, he, he kept fucking up until the end of the movie where he realized that he, he really wanted to be with her because he, he didn't want to, he was tired of living the legend. He didn't have enough room in his life because he was living such a grandiose, crazy balls to the walls life, but he didn't want to do that anymore. He wanted, he really wanted to spend time with her. He really wanted to have a family with kitty soft paws and it was just so nice to see that shit because it was it was it was good for them and eventually he he opened up to that dude holy fuck i gotta talk about some of the main antagonists because their shit is wild fucking death death oh my god death is that dude bro death is that death is mad bro like he is a physical embodiment like he he's death is real he can physically manifest himself he is mad he is pissed he is tired of hearing fucking pusses fucking puss and boots his favorite catchphrase puss and boots laughs in the face of death and then he was like bro obey you keep laughing at me with all these eight lives that you had well technically it was nine but like if you see the cutscene but but besides the point besides the point you want to laugh at me like that, bro? I bet. I don't give a fuck about you. Fe uh, fear me if you dare. I laugh in the face of me, bro. Like, you want to laugh in the face of me? I bet. Say less. I'm going to take your life and no one's going to even know about it. Your last life is mine. It's forfeit, bitch. It's forfeit. Bro, he is pissed beyond belief. He pushed in va value any of his lives at all. It was, he was mad. That's the worst thing you could do to death is piss off the value of a life. And he was, oh, yo, he was on his ass. It was on sight with him. He was mad. He, he was not letting that motherfucker go. Hell no. Hell no, bro. And then at the end of the movie, bro, he finally confronts death because he was so scared. And that's why he has all these panic attacks because he keeps seeing him everywhere he goes. He, death, you can't outrun death. De death will eventually get us all. He was everywhere. Everywhere Puss went, he was always there, on his heels, left, right, and center. Even at the end of the movie when he was trying to get his wish to get more lives, he was on his ass. And I was like, fuck, dude. But then he was like, at the end of the movie when he was fighting death for the final time, he eventually gets the upper hand on him, and he's like, look, I can never beat you, bro. I'm going to be straight up with your arms you, bro. Like, I can't beat you, but I will never stop fighting for the one and final life that I have. Bro, death can't, like, he wanted a legend that thought he was immortal, but he doesn't see that in Puss anymore. He sees a humbled, down-to-earth little kitten, a legend of a kitten, that wants to spend the rest of his days with the people that he loves. And it's it's good to see that shit, dude. I, I fucking love that, bro. And Jack Horner? Bro, fuck little Jack Horner! That's big Jack Horner right there, man! Fuck! That's that dude right there, bro! He's, dude, he's so evil and snivingly charismatic, bro. Like, he hates to see that. But he, he's he's such a cool villain because of how evilly and sarcastic it is. Like, he's so charismatic, you can't help but like the guy. Like, he's that one boss that you don't like, but he says shit in a funny way that you can't help but burst out laughing because of how random it is. It's like, what the fuck? And it's just hilarious to see that guy on screen. It's, it's fucking phenomenal, dude. Like, it's the whole, the whole shit... The whole movie is so fucking good. Like, it, I'll tell you how good that shit is. I went to the movie theater with my friends, right? And we came there late. I was like, fuck. Because I didn't get to the part. I was like, I got to the part where he didn't. I didn't get to the part where he fought a giant. I got to the part where he was talking to his doctor. He's like, oh, you're under your life. And fucking Puss in Boots was like, oh, you're not. A, you're a fucking. You're a fucked up doctor. You know that? You're a fucking. You're a, you're a barber and you're a quack. You bitch ass motherfucker. I was like, well, what the fuck was going on here? I knew I was missing out on it, and I was enjoying myself with the experience so much with what I did end up watching. I ended up going over to my house, buying it on YouTube, and rewatching it again, spending a good ass chunk of money again, pretty much rewatching it on a movie theater. I'm like, bro, that's how good of a movie this is. This story is so fucking phenomenal and compelling. Like, there's so much character in this ginger ass cat. This ginger ass cat's got more character development than fucking all the Disney movies that have been coming out lately. Especially the Marvel ones too. Now, besides like the 
Far From Home Spider-Man shit, but that was made by Sony. All these other movies, trash. It doesn't even come close to it, bruh. This arrogant legend who thought he couldn't be touched by a blade gets humbled down to earth so well and learns the value of life because he doesn't want to die. He wants to spend it with his family and the people that he loves. And you love to see that shit, dude. You love to see it. And I'm like, fuck yes, bro. I'm here for that. I'm here for it. Oh my God, bro. It's such a good movie, dude. Like you, you guys got to go watch it. If you haven't, go watch that shit, dude. Like it's so good. And there's like a little short that had come out recently about how he loses one of his lives. Dude, oh my God. That's how you know they coming up with good shit because they coming up with stories like this, bro. It's so fucking good. It's good, bro. Oh my God, bro. I can't wait till DreamWorks knocks it out the ballpark, bro. I heard they're going to be making a Shrek 5. Oh, I hope that shit's true, bro, because that shit, they going to be working them, bro. Disney, Disney needs to step up their game. They got hella big competition coming up. I would love to see DreamWorks, another Kung Fu Panda movie, but in the art style of Puss in Boots. That's how awesome it is. I don't want to reboot. I just want to, I want to, I want a sequel. I want to, I want a continuation of the timeline because that third movie, a lot of people liked it. I didn't like it. I think the hypest peak for Kung Fu Panda was Kung Fu Panda 2. That's where that shit was grand at. Like, oh my god, the story writing, whoo! Oh, that shit was wild. I don't, I'm, but that's not, that's, that's not, that's not what I was important right now. That's not, that is not what this video is about. I'm gonna let you guys go. If you guys like what I had to say, comment, like. If you really liked what I had to say, then give me a sub. Maybe go check out my store if you want to. Links in the description. If not, that's cool. That's perfectly fine. I ain't stressing about it. You guys just watching this video was enough for me. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.